good day. It's my first ever makeup tutorial, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready to get this done. Today I wanted to do a fun um, fall inspired makeup tutorial, so I'm gonna do the usual dark lips, um, some gold eyes, and just some general fall glamour. So let's get started. <laughs> I need to correct my face first. So I use this color corrector from Sephora and it's the orange one, number six. So I use that first. So I just put it. There it is. So I do this tribal stuff. I just put dots all over my face and like blend it in. So there we have it. It is all primed. Now that that's done, I go in with my Mary Kay. Again, nothing really changes. It's not like I'm putting on foundation or anything, but it's just, this is to keep my foundation matte. I am obsessed with long lasting foundation. Now that's done, it's the fun part. But before I start, I always wanna like um, clean up my eyebrows. So I get these wipes like once every other few weeks, but for the most part, I do them myself because I know what shape I like, so I just use a swirly and just kind of take out any extra hairs that we don't be needing. So now that my eyebrows are looking borderline present full, I'm going to use my beauty blender. <laughs> it's presentful a word, I don't believe it is, but I'm going to use my beauty blender to apply my foundation. I usually like, it depends on the day, but today I'm actually going to use liquid foundation, but lately I've been finding myself using the powder one. And I'm gonna use Superstay by Maybelline. It is brand new, I've never used it before, so if I end up looking crazy, or I don't know, it ain't my fault. All right, so first I'm using this foundation. <gasps> Guys, I have an applicator! Yes! Most like drugstore foundations don't have, like don't do this, but like even MAC, some of their things don't have an applicator, so I am super, super freaking impressed. So, yeah, let's go. And this was, by the way, um, number 355 coconut. Perfect. See how much I put? I need a little bit more. I'm gonna put like one more for control. Cause I don't wanna put that much. I don't like having a cakey face, so. With my foundation, I usually just start with my fingers and create a T. I don't know, for me it's just like always easier to use my fingers. Y'all, it's so quiet. I get so much quietness. Because when I usually do my makeup, I'm like playing ratchet music and trap music, but I'm not about to get any, you know what I mean, copyright violations. So I just follow like the T. I don't put it everywhere. That's what the beauty blender is for. Now I'm just gonna blend it in using my beauty blender. This is light. <laughs> or red. I, just, I don't know, I look like... What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. I just feel like this is a little... Let's shake it as you. It's a little unnatural looking, I don't know. But anyway, I'm all like blended out. I'm gonna take a brush. This is a real technique brush and it's like, I usually have to the beauty blend, I just use a brush to make sure it's all in there. I mean, so now I'm gonna use, guys, as you can see, it's about damn time for me to get a new um, concealer. But for two reasons. First of all, I ain't about to make that trip all the way to the mall to get this stuff. And second of all, it's all bloody expensive. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to swipe that card. So I'm really like going through it with like a sealer. You know, like it's on the, its last legs. So hopefully we'll have enough for this look. Let's see. Woo! We came out too! Hey! <laughs> Good. So, same thing. I just kind of... I put down this one is important because this is when you put it down I'm sure everyone knows this but like it catches the light when you turn your nose or whatever so that's an important one 
Okay, this is coming together a little bit. I feel this. It doesn't look as crazy anymore. At least it's starting to kind of match with my neck. We tangled. Okay, my face is done. Let me, same thing again. Come in there with a brush. Guys, for me, like your foundation has to be laid. Don't people you do any of these like eyeshadows. Your foundation isn't done, right? It's a wrap, hope. Oh, sorry. It's a wrap, girl. It's a wrap. The foundation is laid. Foundation is laid. 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 Next up, we're gonna do the eyebrows. I know, like, I attempted to tidy them up a little bit, but now we're gonna do the real damn thing. Oh, the, look at all. Guys, <laughs> it's a struggle, but it's like, I, I just like have not had the time to like go makeup shopping or anything like that the past few weeks. But I promise you, next video, all my shit will be tweak. Yeah, my eyebrows always look like a shit show when I first start, but like once I start like mending them out and stuff, things start to make sense. Mm. Mm. Wish me luck again. I'm gonna try and get more of this concealer out. Let's see if it does anything. Ah, oh, it, it came up. Glory, glory, glory. <laughs> These eyebrows are gonna be cousins, y'all. So yeah, I have the Mona Brow edition. I'm gonna clean it up also now. So from here, guys, you see how I have a Mona Brow? See it? So I put like a little concealer in the middle, I guess, and then I literally like rub it up into the different brows. So. I do that and you see now it's like the mono brow is like lighter <laughs> I mean it's still there but so I just brush it in so that way I do that because so that it just seems like you don't want like a block so that it seems like it's just like starting and slowly getting darker and then from there what I do is just I just take my middle finger and just rub it out erase it erase that shit so now it's like Faded. So I'm using the masquerade. <laughs> what the hell? My table just fell apart. Hold on. Let's continue and hope nothing else falls apart. Um. Okay. So first things first. I usually just prime my eyelids. I'm just gonna do a little bit today because you know I know you know you're not gonna have that kind of like out there night I only like beat my face to the gods when I know it's one of those nights someone who's running out of all their makeup probably shouldn't be doing a makeup tutorial right but I'm a real bitch I'm gonna show you how things really are oh this baby broke it's called infinity but I'm just gonna try my best. So, I like this one because it's got a little shimmy. I put this all over my lid and it's like flesh tone, just as a base for when I actually start doing my makeup. So, I start with Fulani, which is the lightest. So, you kind of you have to build it up, right? So, I start with Fulani and then I go to Zulu and I go to Ada. Ada, Ada, I think it's Ada, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Let me clean that up real quick. So I just take a blending brush. I just go in and clean that up. I like to pull my eyelid so that it's like, I get as much space as possible. Okay, 
So now we kind of have like the backdrop. I'm going to slip, grab my setting spray. So this was really important. So when I want to do my eyes, I make sure that my brushes are white so that, so that the color is more intense. So I'm going to go for like a burnt gold, dark brown look, and then some really dark lips. I'm going to spray my brush. Spray it. It's nice and wet. And then I'm going to take this green in color and put it. And then, same thing, just go in with that color. I don't know what commotion is going on. Let me try those lips a little bit. Oh, something feels. <laughs> oh! Mess? I made a mess. Let me clear it in there. You know, like the fallout is all over. Because I didn't bake, so it literally just fell out. And it's like kind of dark underneath my eyes. I have a solution. I'm just gonna now. I told you I'm not baking, so I'm just gonna spray it all over and just put a lot of like MAC dark mineralized skin finish to just kind of have that. You know, like really set effect, even though I'm not really setting. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm gonna do my contour, which is the last one. I like to do this kind of stuff last. So, I'm using the Sleek Palette in Dark, the contour palette. Since it's fall, I really like like a really like chiseled look, really chiseled. Because you know, fall is a little more serious. We don't come to play. It's fall. And do the sides, my temples. Gotta do the temples. I don't really like a really harsh contour, like this is as harsh as I'm going to go with it. I don't like it too harsh. Whenever I put something, I'll go back with my powder and just like go over it because, you know, I want it to be like smooth, like I don't want like any rough edges or whatever. So last but not least for my face, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier. I'm using the Laura Mercier Golden Mosaic. And it's very understated. And then a little bit of my tippy nose. Just a little shine. A little bit on my forehead. Okay, we gotta be shining everywhere. That was terrible. So same as always, just get in the thing. Like no matter how like tight you think it is, you always need to tone it down in my opinion. Last but not least, I'm gonna do a very dark lipstick. It's called LAX by Colourpop. Cause it's fall, it's one of my favorite fall lipsticks. It's dark as hell. So hopefully it dries sooner than later. But, and then I'm gonna line it with um, Night Moth. with my night moth. This is the final look. Um, this is my actually my go-to um, full look. Some dark cherry lips and gold eyes. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, it's me Kaze and Amy Spoken. If you enjoyed, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye.